Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to try out the new to remastered Kavek class. I like the design of this Klingon ship. The green blue glows look really nice. It seems to incorporate design elements from quite a few Klingon ships. It's armed with disruptors and it can fire a large amount of torpedoes. I thought a good first test would be against the Enterprise D. This Enterprise D that we're facing is the one from the Generations movie. It's even armed with the same type of torpedo. You know the type, the dramatic slow movie style one. Let's hope there's no coolant leaks today. Okay, here we go. So on consulting the readme, this is a D37 and it's basically the successor to the D7 Battlecruiser. The author wanted to create a worthy successor. Wow, so we can fire eight torpedoes from the front. Oh, we've just lost weaponry. We have phasers and disruptors, as you can see. But we can fire eight torpedoes from the front and two from the back. They're definitely the torpedoes from a Generations movie. Look at that. Interestingly, we saw those in Picard as well. Oh, incoming. So this ship is not as powerful as a Klingon Negvar, but it's not designed to be. It's designed to be a new D7 battlecruiser. I imagine it would complement the Negvar very well in fleet battles. We never saw many Negvars, so I almost wonder if they were a bit like Sovereign classes. Question is, will the Galaxy class be too much for this ship? Well, so far our shielding is struggling and their shielding seems very strong which is usually what happens when the Klingons fight the Federation. Yeah, I almost think the Galaxy class is just too tough a target. I mean, I reckon the Negvar would give the Galaxy class a very, very hard time. I'm not sure who would win in that one, but it'll be close. Of course, the Sovereign class could deal with the Negvar. Yeah, we're in trouble here. I cannot get through that shielding. I'm thinking we might need to go against the Ambassador class. That might be a better fit for this ship. Attack pattern ramming speed it is. To Stovacor! Oh, missed! Oh, there we go. Okay, let's go against... The Enterprise C, the Ambassador class. Okay, well their bottom shield is down to 46%. That's more like it. <laughs> I love the phaser sound from the Ambassador. Almost reminds me of the door sound that we had in the original series. Maybe it is. <laughs> ah yeah, this is going much better. I like this because now we're seeing the full capabilities of this ship. I imagine we could have some very good fleet battles with this. So we have the D-37, which is this new D-7 successor with some Negvars. Can you imagine? That'd be well good. Okay, their aft shield... Oh, sorry, their bottom shield. It's almost failed. One thing I will say about this ship as well is, the maneuverability is excellent for its size. Superb. We've got those aft torpedoes as well, which is really good because Whilst we're waiting for the forward ones to reload, we can keep the fire on. Oh, 
Almost got him. Yep, there we go. Wow. Simulated enemy ship has been so it's a rather interesting ship, power-wise. It sort of sits in between the Ambassador class and the Galaxy class, maybe in the middle. In fact, I think the Probert Ambassador would be comparable to this ship. The Probert concept was more powerful than the Canon Ambassador class. What do you guys think of this design? I really like it, and I think it fills a gap in the Klingon line of ships. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.